Hello everybody, it's Scrap Diva 29 I'm back today to share with you how to make this super cute flip book. And if you remember the other day, I shared with you this super cute book which flips open this way, this way, and then again this way. I was inspired by a lady on Instagram and her name is, I don't want to say it wrong, and I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, Feliz Love Paper. And when I saw her on Instagram, I saw that she had a YouTube channel and I went to go check her out. And I will leave her link in the description box below because this is a tutorial that I followed. And she has made several of these super cute flip books. So let's get started. This is what you're gonna need. You're going to need washi tape. You're gonna need some adhesive. You can use wet glue or whatever you'd like to use. You can use four pieces of six by six double-sided paper, or you can use eight pieces of cardstock and then just glue them together. Now what I have done is I used two six by six papers and glued them together only because I like the thickness of the way it feels and how the book flips through. But you can just use a solid cardstock that is double-sided if you'd like. So let's get started. What you're going to need to do is take your two six by six pieces of paper and you're just going to adhere them together. So like this. Easy so far, right? A little bit in the middle and you're just going to line it up. This one is a little bit off, but that's okay. It'll look cute. You're gonna add your washi. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat this step three more times, and I've already done that. So I have this one, this one, this one, and now this one. Now to assemble the book, you're going to space out your book, and you're just gonna leave a little bit of space in between. And this is where you're gonna add your washi on these seams. So you can measure out your washi. Let's see if I can get this peeled open. I'm sorry, it's stuck and I have no nails. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. All right, so as you can see right here, I'm just gonna line these two pieces up and you just wanna leave a little space so that you can flip your book open when you open it. So line it up and then take your washi and just put it in the middle of the seam and that's it. And then you're going to take your scissors and cut. And you're going to do that same thing to the back side. Take your washi line it up and we are gonna we're gonna cut the ends so it's even so don't worry about that and then you're just gonna take the scissors and trim off the excess oops don't cut your paper like I just did and same thing on this one as well all right so you have your first set together now you're gonna take the next page and do the same exact thing. Line it up, leaving a tiny little space in between. Take your washi tape and stick it together. See how easy this is and how quick it's being put together. And then just flip it over and again the same thing. trim it and then you're going to want to trim the excess very carefully and again trimming the excess on this side and we're going to adhere the last page which is the fourth and final page of your book And all this paper that I'm using today I purchased at Tuesday morning 
you know how I find those packs of paper that are like 50 to a pack this is that and I figured I'm gonna use some of that paper to do this tutorial all right and now we're going to adhere the back of our book like that and cut that off trim off the excess on this side and we'll do it again on this side Let's turn it like this all right so now we have our book just fold it in and smooth it down and then what you're going to want to do to allow your book to close um, evenly and so that there's not like a gap so it doesn't bulk up like that you're just going to trim off a little piece maybe like a sixteenth of an inch so I'm going to get my paper trimmer and do that now oops got some paper in here all right so you're just going to take just a tad if you can see what I'm doing it's just a little bit to ensure that your book will close nice and flush see that's it that tiny little piece is all you're gonna need to trim off and do the same thing on the other side and let's move this out of the way and now your book should close properly like that so there it is that is how you assemble the flip book and now this is the fun part the decorating so what you want to do is take your three by three envelopes which you can purchase at Hobby Lobby if you do not have a die cut or an envelope maker Hobby Lobby Michaels everybody sells these three by three envelopes and then you're also going to want to take your tag and again, if you don't have any dies that cut tags, Michaels and Hobby Lobby, they sell these tags pre-cut. And then all you have to do if you want to decorate it is take your decorative paper and just trace around it and then glue it on top. Um, my cousin, Simone, who is in Hawaii, she's a new mommy, and she asked me if I would do this tutorial. So I want to say hi to Simone. Hey girl, how you doing? I hope that you give this a go. I'm trying to convert her to be a scrapbooker. So anyway, so this is what you're gonna do. So you're gonna take your tag and your envelope and you're gonna stick it wherever you wanna stick it. I'm just gonna say, let's stick it right there for demonstration purposes. And you're just gonna take a little bit of your washi and adhere it down. I think I want it to show a little bit on the top, so I'm gonna move it up just a tad. And then that's it. You just put one little piece of washi and then you have your flip right here. See how super cute and easy that is? And then if you want to add an envelope, you can add some washi up here because it's a flip book. So um, you want your little pages to flip. That is kind of the whole idea. And you go like that. And then you'd have your envelope that flips up. And then you'd have this uh, tag that flips over. And then you'd be able to put little goodies or you could even put something right here. Whatever you wish. But this is the base to build the flip book. Super easy. I hope you all give it a go. It will take you no time and they're fun to swap with a pen pal. Just similar to pocket letters basically. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. And uh, please go check out uh, Feliz Love Paper. She is the lady that um, inspired me to create these flip books. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.